characters, who passed away today, March 30th. Legends who somehow contributed to their respective works, and today unfortunately ended up passing away. Condolences to the family and fans, rest in peace. But first, we ask that you show your love and affection by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel to follow us. Unfortunately, a very sad Saturday, that's because, this morning, March 30th, the renowned Tamil actor, Daniel Balaji, passed away. According to his family, he passed away after suffering a heart attack in a private hospital in Chennai. The veteran actor started his career as a unit production manager in Kamal Hazen's unfinished dream project Maradunayagam. He also forayed into television by playing a memorable role in Radhika Sarthakumar's Chithi. In the television series, he played the role of Daniel, which earned him his screen name, Daniel Balaji. Daniel Balaji was known for playing villainous roles in films. His performance as Amudan in director Gautam Menon and Kamal Hazen's Vedayadu Vilayadu still remains one of the iconic antagonist roles in Tamil cinema. More details about the cremation are awaited. In 2021, he made his acting debut in the Tamil film, April Madhathil It was Gautam Menon and Surya Jodhika's Kaka Kaka that catapulted him to fame. He also appeared as the antagonist in Vetri Moran's Pollet Haven. After Kaka Kaka, he once again collaborated with Gautam Menon in Vedayadu Vilayadu where he played the role of Amudan with style. Apart from Tamil films, Daniel Balaji has also starred in several Malayalam, Telugu and Kannada films. Some of his famous films include Ajit's Yenaya Rendhal, Simbu's Akam Yenbadu Matamayana, Thalpathi Vijay's Bhairava, Bhanish's Veda Chennai and Vijay's Bijal. He was last seen in Aryavan. His passing is regrettable. We send our sincere condolences to the actor's friends, fans and family. Rest in peace. Another sad death was confirmed on Friday, March 29th. This is because actor Louis Gossett Jr. passed away at the age of 87. He was the first black man to win an Oscar for supporting actor. The actor began his artistic career on Broadway after leaving the basketball team after suffering an injury. In his memoir An Actor and a Gentleman, released in 2010, he wrote that, at the time, he was hooked by the art. His stage debut took place in 1953, at the age of 16. According to the AP, he studied acting with Marilyn Monroe, Martin Landau and Steve McQueen. Gossett debuted in Hollywood in 1961, bringing the show The Sun Will Shine Again to theaters. According to the agency, the actor died on Friday night in Santa Monica, California, but the cause of death was not revealed. In 1983, Gossett won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for his work in the film The Force of Destiny. The Oscar gave me the ability to choose good roles, said the actor, who also acted in films such as Enemy of Mine, Sadat, The Peace Fighter and Steel Eagle. The veteran actor leaves two children, Sati and Sharon. Really very sad. The actor was much loved, and will certainly be greatly missed. We send sincere condolences to friends, fans and family. May he rest in peace. Malachi McCord, the Irish-American actor, storyteller and writer best known to TV audiences for his longtime role as Kevin the bartender on the ABC soap opera Ryan's Hope, died today in Manhattan after battling a heart condition and cancer. He was 92 years old. 
His death was announced by his wife Diana McCourt to the New York Times. Malachi McCourt left an indelible mark on New York City's Irish-American community. McCourt has appeared on several New York soap operas, including One Life to Live, Search for Tomorrow, and Another World, but will be best remembered for his annual Christmas appearances on All My Children as the possibly angelic father Clarence and, most especially, in the recurring role from bartender Kevin McGuinness throughout the entire 14-year run of Ryan's Hope. Off-screen, McCourt fought a high-profile, though eventually lost, political battle in 2006 when he ran for governor of New York as a Green Party candidate. An outspoken opponent of the war in Iraq, McCourt was an early and vociferous advocate for allowing gay and lesbian groups to march in New York's annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Malachi McCourt, who returned to New York at age 20, would later write his own memoirs, including A Monk Swimming, 1998, an account of his life in Limerick that begins where Angela's ashes ends, and in 2000, singing my hymn song, which chronicles his later, sober, life as a husband and father. In addition to his wife Diana, McCourt is survived by his daughter Siobhan McCourt, sons Malachi Jr., Connor and Cormac, stepdaughter Nina Gallen, nine grandchildren, and a great the wise men very sad. at the Ren no dark we is right, sincere condolences because to their the words had fought no lightning, they Famous for living inside an iron FUM for more than 70 years, Paul Alexander, passed away this week. The brand was even registered in Guinness World Records. The information was confirmed by North American educator Christopher Ulmer, who interviews people with disabilities on his YouTube channel. You will be missed but always remembered. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Chris wrote in the caption of a post on his NGO's Instagram profile. Christopher organized a fundraiser that raised around 145,000 US dollars, approximately 725,000 Brazilian reals, for Paul, who, as the text published on the GoFundMe platform says, suffered a scam from people who were supposed to take care of him. The money was used to pay for his treatment and help Paul survive. In his text, Christopher added a message from Philip, Paul's brother, thanking him for the donations. They allowed him to live his last years without stress. They will also pay for his funeral during this difficult time. It's absolutely incredible to read all the comments and know that so many people were inspired by Paul, the text reads. Paul Alexander entered the Guinness Book of Records in 2022 for being the person who used a negative pressure ventilator, known as an iron lung, for the longest time. He was placed inside the device in 1952, after suffering paralysis in the organ caused by polio. That year, the city of Dallas, where Paul lived, was hit by a major epidemic of the disease, as recorded by Guinness very sad your death. Rest in peace warrior. Goodbye. Thursday of morning, that's because, this morning, February 29th, comedian Richard Lewis passed away at the age of 76. The actor became well known for appearing in the series Segura Onda, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in April last year. According to Variety magazine, the artist was away from filming the penultimate season of this sitcom to recover from three surgeries and was moved by the public's reaction upon returning to his role. When I entered, on stage, and they applauded, I felt like a million dollars, he joked. And he also recalled how actor and co-star Larry David welcomed him backstage. He doesn't like hugs, but he hugged me and said how happy he was after we filmed our scene. 
in addition to being part of the series for almost 24 years, since 2000, the actor became famous with the 1979 film Diary of a Young Comic, and for his appearances on the American TV program The Tonight Show. According to information from his spokesperson the comedian stated that his wife, Joyce Lipinski, thanks everyone for their love, friendship and support, but asks for privacy at this time. Really very sad. His passing is regrettable. The actor was much loved, and will certainly be missed. Rest in peace warrior. Unfortunately, a sad death has just occurred. The notable 50-year-old actor and comedian, Ewan McIntosh, died this Wednesday, February 21. He became very known on television, for his role playing Big Keith on The Office. For those who don't remember, the veteran played a Scottish egg-loving accountant who had a monotonous message on his answering machine and preferred to pursue a career as a DJ. The actor has also appeared in other British comedies including Miranda and Little Britain. The co-writer and co-director of the BBC comedy series, Stephen Merchant, paid tribute to the deceased, he lamented on social media. I fondly remember we asked him to improvise an out-of-office message, and he was so hilarious that we started writing more and more dialogue for him, Merchant recalled. He soon stole every scene he participated in. A unique experience. A tragic loss, he launched in a communication. He also appeared in the final season of Ricky Gervais' Afterlife, playing Buffet Man, who has been banned from his local all-you-can-eat restaurant. In 2017, the actor played Lionel in the British romantic comedy film Finding Fatima. His death is sorry. We send sincere condolences to the family, at this sorry time. Rest in peace. Unfortunately, a sad death in the early hours of this Saturday, February 12th. A great German name on the artistic scene has passed away died at just 26 years of age, rapper and actor Pablo Grant. According to information released by his family, the actor died due to thrombosis. In addition to being a successful rapper, Grant has also starred in several TV shows and films. He made his debut with a supporting role in the 2016 film BB and Tina, Girls Against Boys, later joining the cast of the German comedy Misfit in 2019. The news was lamented by his family, through a statement. The artist, actor, musician and member of BHC, Pablo Grant, died unexpectedly as a result of a thrombosis. The family and friends of the deceased are heartbroken and ask that privacy be respected and that no contact be made at this difficult time until further notice. We would like to thank all the fans who have followed and supported Pablo's artistic trajectory over the years, he lamented in this statement. Days before Grant's sudden death, BHC cancelled their tour. They were scheduled to start a tour this coming Thursday, however, they cancelled the performances three days before. The actor also had supporting roles in police series in Truth, a case for Dr. Abel, Police Call 110 and In All Our Friendship. He also released his solo album Dunkelschwarz in 2019, really really sad. The actor will certainly be greatly missed. Rest in peace warrior.